Hi, good evening, YouTubers. Welcome back to Turn Up with Patricia in my YouTube channel. Today's recipe is going to be bacalhau a gomes de sa. That means um, bacalhau with like potatoes and sauteed onions. It's like a layered dish casserole, a Portuguese style originated from Brazil, but um, Portuguese people make it as well. And you put boiled egg and olives, but I'm not going to put olives today because my partner does not olives but it is very very delicious so come on over and I'm gonna show you the ingredients right, guys so what I have here is the it's called bacalhau which is um, salt fish like salted cod but it has been soaked pre-soaked and these are two nice big pieces which I'm gonna put in the boiling water and um, also there is uh, two medium um, yellow onion sliced uh, six cloves of garlic two boiled eggs, some oregano, olive oil, olive oil is a very big ingredient, some black pepper, and potatoes. I have about, I think, seven, six or seven potatoes there. So I'm gonna show you guys what's next. Right, so right over here I have two pots, one for the potatoes and the, and the salt fish for the salt cod. So I'm gonna put in right now is the salt fish in the pots to boil and cook just like so. So that's going to cook for a good about 25 minutes and and then pretty much pretty much when that's done the potatoes will be done as well. We don't want them to boil too long but just long enough that um, they are slightly softened and we can cut them as well and then you'll see the process. And I'm going to put only two boiled eggs because I just put the eggs in the top of the layering which you guys will see. So we're going to let that boil now for the next 20 to 25 minutes and we'll see you back soon. Alright guys, so now I'm going to put in the onions. We have to saute the onions first in a pan with uh, quite a bit of olive oil. I would say about four to five tablespoons of olive oil in the pan. So we're going to add the garlic, chopped garlic and sliced onions and get them nicely golden brown. That's what you want. Alright, so in the meantime, while the other things are boiling, we're also going to be getting this back. The nice smells from the garlic, the olive oil, it's very, very delicious. So we're going to mix that all around and let that cook in medium high heat. Well, first high heat, then go to medium high heat. We don't want to burn the onions and garlic. The first one is good. So right now, this probably takes about about eight minutes, ten minutes, ten minutes or so for it to like nicely saute properly. And uh, and that's for the layering process. So once that's all sauteed, I'll show you guys on how that looks, okay? And I'll show the other four minutes and so these bad boys are done. Alright? minutes as you can see it's nicely golden brown so it's exactly what you want so I just turn off the heat I'm going to let these settle in and also these should be done boiling now so I'm going to let them also cool off and then show you guys the next step to that all right guys so basically after the potatoes are well I was already cutting but I just wanted to show you guys they are pretty well done but not to the point they're mush so you just want to cut them in slices, just like so, where you're going to be layering in, okay? And uh, same thing with all the other stuff as well. So I also boil the saltfish and shred it all in, and I'll show you guys the lightning process, okay? So I just wanted to show you quickly on how I'm cutting the potatoes, and uh, sure, I'll show you how we layer it up. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you now the layering process to this. So first, you get a little sauce like casserole pan, it's not too big, 
and put a, like quite a bit of olive oil in the base, just like so. And that would equal about four tablespoons of olive oil. Olive oil is very um, big in this ingredient, this recipe, because of the potatoes and salt fish, it just so it soaks it all up. So first we're gonna add in some potatoes, like so. Not too much, just a bit. So I'm showing you like this, so this way you guys can see, right? Then I'm gonna add is a bit of salt fish. So bacalhau for the Portuguese people who know what bacalhau is. Just like so. And also the sauteed onions. So I'm also gonna put a little bit of that on top. And then we repeat the layering again. So same thing, potatoes, salt fish, sauteed onion. So this is gonna be about three layers, I think. Yeah, three layers it's gonna make in total. Not too much, not too crazy. Um, if you choose, you could add salt and pepper or um, any other seasoning, but I wouldn't prefer for salt because the salt fish is already salty. So you don't have to do that. And also before I add the salt fish, I like to do is drizzle just a little olive oil again over that. Salt fish. Like so. And sauteed onions. With the garlic, of course. <laughs> So I'm gonna finish, uh, you know, layering this up and then I'll show you guys on the results. Right, so that's the final result of the layering for the bacalhau which is sa. And um, so like in translation in English, it's uh, bacalhau, which is salt fish um, potato casserole. So that's pretty much I can say for that. And so I just put also the boiled eggs on top and I put a little bit of oregano on top and black pepper. And that's it. Usually you could put some black olives. They usually do traditionally. If you like them, you are more than welcome to do it. Um, I'm going to put in the recipe saying olives optional. Um, if you also don't like eggs, it's optional too. If you want to just use the rest of the ingredients, that's fine. And now I'm going to go put it in the oven for about uh, 25 minutes or so at 400 degrees and it should be done. <laughs> Pretty much took about a good 25 minutes to cook at 400 degrees. All done, ready to serve. That's it, guys. Get ready to dig in. Mm. All right, guys. Well, recipe's all done. Hope you all enjoyed watching today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, so yeah, it's the bacalhau abogomgojmasa. So it's that salt fish casserole, Portuguese style. And I really hope you guys enjoy the recipe. The recipe will be under the description box below with all the ingredients and how to do the, the recipe that I did this evening. So I hope you all enjoyed and thanks for watching. And please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and click the icon bell button right beside and you'll get notified to my next video. Thank you so much for watching again and have a great evening. Take care, everybody.